Which way he sat and rode to. Search for clues. Three hundred ah, pain. I wrote from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Letter from Fron. That, uh... Drawing of an oven. Letter from Fron. It's like poetry or something. That's the exit. Uh... Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Oh. Oh, oh. Starting to look like a man serious about his business, that's right. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. <laughs> Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. That could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. So, Che? Seems like a good plan. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Ah, it's good to meet an old friend again. Hey, Fury. I am doing well. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. Zoltan is one of my favorite characters, and we have been reunited again. Um, but I'm doing particularly well because I took care of my graphics driver issue and getting a good amount of FPS boost now, so I'm happy about that, but you guys won't notice because it's uh, locked to 30 FPS on the stream, so. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenhove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Kill 300 chickens in CSGO. Is it casual, or you can do it in rank? Oh my god. Death match. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So we've got it. We've done a. Oh, you just spat. We got a good chunk of stuff done so far. Uh, probably I'll try to keep going. Uh, we got another 30 minutes until we reach four hours. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I can handle it. I'm, like, really hungry right now. I'm a female admirer. Scoping out a tavern. Uh, we're trying to look for a dandelion as well. Oh, let's read this. Let's see. These are people's letters.
was, I think these are poems as well. Left my visage red and hot. What? Okay. Gnomish prankings. Dude. Uh, I didn't mean to grab that, but whatever. Not only is this a tavern, but uh, apparently there's a lot of the uh, ladies that come on through here. Read Dandelion's Planner. Well, I probably should do that. I know what I'm doing. Rose Var Atir. Shampoo, Shun to swing her dwarf agility. These are all like poems or something. Gildorf Villa next to the morgue. Dandelion's a player, man. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a Big Dipper? Her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. Alright, so we got a list of ladies we need to go speak to. Wow! Uh... Don't tell me all these characters are going to get added here. 500 XP? I'm not going to absolutely check these rooms right now, screw that man. Like, how much farther is this? It's pretty far. There's upstairs and downstairs, and I kind of really don't want to do that. Talk to Zoltan? For what? I'm not going to talk to Zoltan at this time. Uh, but we got a lot of ladies to talk to, so let's go and do that. In short. Mm. This is your What's the map look like? Ladies all over the city. Uh, I think we'll talk to Zoltan last. Maybe we should talk to him now. We'll bite it tomorrow. Let's talk to him now, I guess. Uh, we saved, so it shouldn't hurt. Where's the wee little guy at? Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Oh, cool. We can just ask them all about these girls, then. Get the latest gossip. Well, she knows the touch of silk and lace. She shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. <laughs> Dandelion. Bard, poet, gigolo. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. <laughs> it had a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, 
Fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf never suspected he was so humble. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir, well chosen, eh? All right, but Var Atra, her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. Yes, you know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Last one. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Not been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Vodka, all right. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Right, let's go and uh, let's go talk to Molly first. Uh, she seems to be out this way. We'll find all of Dandelion's lovers. Good to hear some some new tracks as well. going on here people mm. what's the entrance to this sky house weeps. the sky weeps ooh Ugh. like you do some sort of uh, tailoring looks like welcome welcome do come in Wait, this is E Hall. This is not Molly. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's. I did too. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Don't tell me you're gonna put on like a different outfit or something. Any better? <laughs> so you're. Eliha. Oh my god. Did you and Dandelion. Nope. I mean. How did you Dandelion's two meet? Dandelion's in a one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Obviously. And then I don't want to know the rest. I don't. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. All right. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> Uh, why do you dress that way? Let's ask that. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. There's some fine-looking materials. A Danian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm-hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. Eh. 
I managed to stay interested. Did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, Kalkstein? he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick bird. He's from the first In game. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake uh, in Hyrule really? Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Well, that's all I need to know. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Got some fine material. I'm, I may take you up on that offer. Wow, yeah, we should totally... Yeah, there we go, leveling up. Yeah, these main... Uh, main quests definitely give you a lot of experience. Look, we just got 450 just from talking to this guy. That's how you level up. That's how you get it. Uh, I thought we were going to Molly. Which one's the closest? Vespula. Alright, we're going to Vespula. You like running around, talk to your That's a pretty interesting name as well. I uh, have not heard that name before. Uh, remember when I say I wanted to level up? Well, we're going to level up our good old fashioned. Uh, Axie signal, the persuasion, if you will. Because it definitely helped us. Uh, one of the recent uh, conversations we had. We cast the sign in its alternative mode, hold right trigger. And I have to put this on somewhere. What should I take off? Ken, Yurden. Um. Precision blows. I guess we'll take the sun and stars off because it's kind of. It's kind of meh, to be honest. It doesn't really give me that much vitality regeneration. Usually it hardly ever moves, so. I oh, need to put a mutagen in here though. Five attack power. Always five attack power. Put a Wervin. Oh, we already have a Wervin. Necker Warrior mutation, that sounds fine to me. Da -da. Uh. Alright. But I'm pretty excited for the weekend to come around. Got some stuff to do. Looking forward to it. Laundry. I couldn't guess with the amount of uh, lines you got there. Oh, I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You, you don't, don't pay. pay. Hey! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. 
Get out of here. Pay what she owes? Uh... I mean, we can easily drop the 200 coins. We tell him this, it's obviously going to lead to a fight. We tell him get out of here, probably going to lead to a fight. 200, they just get out of here. Maybe we just pay off her debt or whatever. Take this coin and leave. Dino works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold, gold. Might as well. That's probably the best option. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that <coughs> witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Gerald. <laughs> Uh, I took Dandelion out whoring? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where fun. could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And? No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. And a lion's kind of going for some interesting... partners. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Eh, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. But This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. <laughs> Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Alright. That's all we need to know about Thanks for your help. Listen, uh. when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Going around. 150 experience, all right. Uh, these are kind of the same. Let's go to Molly next. Run through the town. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. So we basically basically get yeah. to go walking around chatting with uh basically ex-girlfriends slash guys. It's kind of interesting. Hi uh, guys, yawning. Gotta figure out what I'm also going to have for lunch. Got a lot of stuff here, I don't know. 
get rid of it. I don't know if I've even been to this area yet. Let's see where I am. Uh, no, I guess I have been to this area. Alright, well, let's save and let's go see what Molly looks like. Uh, that's, that's the tailor. Not the tailor, the barber, actually. So we'll go up here. Uh-oh. What's going on here? This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. What? Get to see this Baroness? Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidence. I remember you from the... Geralt of Rivia. Palace. Slayer of monsters. And my son. What? I slayed your son? You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. She get fired? Baroness fired her? Quite the contrary. Molly decided she no longer wished to serve. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Baroness's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. She married for the gold. I want to know what she referred to as. For the nephew or his inheritance. Son, I don't know that just yet. But I'd wager she has strong feelings for both. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Sure, why not? Let's chat. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Let's go for a little stroll. Novograd Gildorf. Oh wow, we're actually riding our horses. All right. That was a pretty nice uh, shot there. That was good. I like that scene right there. That was that was pretty good. What um, 